27-year-old Benjamin Martin from Southern Islands was convicted for manslaughter in 2014. He was one of 60 prisoners at the minimum security unit at Beyond Jail and at a rehabilitation program. Benjamin first joined the prison's Bigger project, but his desire to further his education prompted him to write a letter to the superiors at Beyond Jail seeking permission to go to school. In 2016, he was enrolled at Tusbab Secondary as a pre-11 year student, completing grade 11 in 2017, then grade 12 in 2018. I upgrade him marks from my lab. So 2016 or 2017, I continue grade 11, normal grade 11. But 2018, we make him grade 12. He was interested to complete his education. So he wrote a letter to me asking if we can release him and send him to school. He scored high marks in year 12 and applied to Divine Word University, but he could not meet the school fees and he was also a prisoner at that time. He then applied to Medang Teachers College. For the next two years and three months, he attended classes through the support of Beyond CS officers until his release on the 25th of April 2021. Because he was a prisoner, uh, we told him to apply to Medang Teachers College. And then we made arrangement with the principal and the lecturers at the Medang Teachers College. And he was sent there. I uh, accept him enrollment from Benjamin Martin long 2019 or Samsung Martin long Mipla. Now I participate long uh, three-year program, diploma program, long primary teaching, long medical teachers college. I am a master of training in teaching uh, teaching service commission. So I am not sure if I am a kind man or same. I go start to all. I go start to all the banish, but um, somehow nature been. The Welfare and Rehabilitation Program at the Medang Teachers College was officially signed through an MOA in 2005. To date, 11 inmates have undergone studies and graduated with diplomas in primary teaching. Uh, in Charlotte, the program of 2006 has been started in 2007, now 2008. Um, he been got three plus CS officers, all been graduate one them, um, all Sumatin inmates. But under the welfare and rehabilitation program, another inmate is doing his final year at the Medang Technical College, while a third student has just completed year ten at Tuzbab, but due to financial constraints, he was unable to continue to year eleven. Meanwhile, beyond correctional institute provides other programs like piggery and carpentry. The jail commander says correctional institutions are there to help prisoners become better citizens when they leave. Thus, everyone deserves a second chance in life. But the biggest challenge for them is funding to assist prisoners. So that when they finish from prison, they can come out and be a changed person. Matha Lewis, National MTV News, Medang.